What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling amazing today. So, for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just, just fantastic, Cancer, and it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. Now the theme, or excuse me, the purpose of this channel for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be great, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. <laughs> Your space has been cleansed. Gems, feeling lovely. Just good energy all around here, Cancer. All right, Cancer, so with this spread, I'm just gonna be kind of, um, we'll just be working with the general energy of the day. Ooh, Emperor came back. <laughs> and um, just so you all know, the I was, the moon is still in Libra when I'm doing, when we're for, for uh, Friday today, but I figure the moon's gonna be going void of course tomorrow. So I figure we talk about some weekend stuff, you know, we'll get you, get you prepped for the weekend. So the moon is gonna be going void of course tomorrow at about 7.07 .07 in the morning, and that's gonna be central time. And then she'll be moving from Libra into Scorpio at, um, at about 12.34 in the afternoon. So pretty short void of course um, on Saturday, cats or Cancer. But with the moon in Scorpio, Scorpio. <laughs> you know, the moon in Scorpio is an interesting energy. It's definitely, things take on a more, I don't want to say like kind of like a darker tone, but darker in the sense of just like, you may be, fe feelings are a little more intense and you, in your, it's going to take on an almost kind of like psychic nature that's going to be coming to the surface. Your intuition is going to be a lot stronger. And this is good energy because when you think about Scorpio energy, Scorpio is represented by the death card in, in tarot. And the death card is about, you know, releasing old patterns and outworn ways that aren't working for us and, you know, welcoming in the new here, Cancer. And then lastly, that's actually going to be great energy working with the, with the phase that she's in because she's in a waning gibbous phase or a disseminating moon. And with this time, this is a time to kind of shed some light and reflect on what's happened. And Scorpio's, you know, one of the things they're known as is like the detective of the, of the Zodiac. So, you know, this is a good time. Do some good reflective work here, Cancer. And then real for real, last thing, the decks that I'm using. This one is the Wandering Moon Tarot deck. Chariot and Friends exclusive. And then this one that I'm using over here is an Anatomy of the Witch Oracle deck. And I'll include links for these decks and other decks that I like using down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested, Cancer. But Cancer, that Emperor is following us around again and he's still in reverse. So I'm feeling like with this, you know, I feel like that there's, with the Emperor popping up, you know, I feel like you know what? I feel like with with the how the emperor's popping up here, I feel like some of us might need to take a step back. You know, I feel like that maybe we've been in in this in this energy where we've had to kind of rise up to the occasion all the time whether that be at work, whether that be in family, whether that be with friends, and I feel like cancer it's, you know, and this is kind of kicking off or kind of really, I feel like picking up off of yesterday. You know, I really feel like it may be time to kind of do some self-care, Cancer. And maybe take this weekend, if you can, if you have the, if you have the time, do an Empress weekend, you know? Because when the Emperor's in reverse, I just feel like that has just been cranking too long. You know, we've been in this, in this Aries energy too long, where it was just like, maybe it's been a real kind of busy time for you. You know, maybe work has been real, things have maybe picked up a lot or maybe maybe there's been stuff with I'm thinking about maybe if we have kids you know maybe there's been stuff with like the little ones maybe there's been projects and field trips and you know all maybe all kinds of stuff going on there but whatever is going on here cancer you know I feel like that every now and again you got to kick your feet up and relax you know we have to be we have to make sure to take care of, of ourselves as well because here's the thing 
the emperor energy for me, this is temporary energy. Because if we were to be in, uh, in, in like emperor energy all the time, for me personally, that's like, that's exhausting. You know, having to just be, it's, it's one thing to be able to rise to the occasion when you need to. You know, let's say if we're on a break and you know, some like an emergency pops up, that's one thing. But if we have the time to just kind of kick back and not be just so, just so on all the time, Cancer, unplug a little bit, you know, maybe go, maybe put on some relaxing music or go read a book, go for a walk, something along those lines. But, you know, I feel like that the way this, considering how the emperor's kind of, uh, Day, day two of emperor of, of emperor on his head here. You know, I feel like that maybe it may be time for us to really kind of think about just maybe kind of taking like taking a step back, you know, and maybe just like kind of kicking back and just sort of relaxing this weekend. But now we're going to get into the next couple cards, which is going to be how we can kind of work with this energy here. And what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is that with this temperance card, this is, I don't know if I just mentioned, this is how we're working with the energy, but with the temperance popping up in reverse like he, here, you know, I do feel like that this is really emphasizing the imbalance that is happening here, Cancer. And I feel like that this is something that we're going to need to work on, you know, because maybe this is something that's foreign to you as far as like taking a little time for yourself and really, really allowing yourself to like kick back and relax here. And cancer, I, I get, I get it, because sometimes it's like when we, I feel like when we're not doing anything, then it feels like that, you know, that we're either being lazy, you know, or we maybe feel guilty or something along those lines, cancer. But even looking at this spread here, you know, you got, we have Aries, we have Leo, and we have Sagittarius here. And those are all fire signs, Cancer. And I feel like that you've just been, possibly some of us have just been running so hot, you know? And I feel like it's just been really one of those things of just like, we're gonna get to this place of burnout here, you know, if we stay in this energy all the time. And, you know, I really do feel like that it's about creating that balance. It's really about harmonizing with that stuff. You know, there's a time, there's, there's, there's a time to when we need to activate all of this heat. And then there are other times when we need to pull back and kind of, you know, build our reserves back up because then it's, it really is going to affect again, how we operate in the long term. you know, it's going to make it that is going to make the journey to our fulfillment here and our expansion and, and, and our, and our destiny that much harder because our all of our energy is being focused somewhere else here cancer so that's it's it's gonna be a tricky one I feel like to work with but I cancer I know that if anybody if anybody could do it you can cancer because you have the strength to do it but it's just yeah just how we're going about it I feel like it might be just like a just a touch aggressive here cancer now let's get into let's see what are some challenges that we might have working with this energy Thank you, higher self. This is, yeah, that's interesting, Cancer. Major, this is how these major arcana's popping up. The fact that all the fire signs popped up here. And you know, Cancer, another thing when I'm thinking about these fire signs, fire energy is, it's, it's very creative energy. You know, I, I, and you know how I've been feeling about creation over, you know, talking about that for a while. But, you know, fire energy is one of those, I feel like when you're taking your time to, to, you know, kind of relax and stuff, again, do some, do some, find some like recreational activities that, you know, make you feel good to just kind of get you in a Zen place, you know, maybe if building a fire, for example, if that's something that's like your jam or, Oh, I don't know, cancer, maybe going, maybe even just like straightening up the house, you know, is there something like, is there like a project that's been, you know, been kind of on your mind here, you know, whatever that is, cancer, you know, work, work with this energy here. But now getting to some challenges. One challenge here we have is the three of swords in reverse. And I feel like it's with the challenges, kind of what I was talking about earlier with how when we go to do that relaxa relaxation time and 
you know, go to kick back and relax, that sometimes I feel like even in that space, you know, that I feel like we have this, you know, maybe some of us have this tendency to still be thinking about like, we're, you know, we're, you know, we're kicked back in our lazy boy, but we're still thinking about bills, what we have to do for the work next week, you know, what, what are we going to do for, for like lunches or something the next week, you know, there's still like all of, all of the life stuff that's still happening here, Cancer. And I feel like with this Three of Swords popping up here, you know, it's like how, how I had mentioned, I think sometime last week, you know, really being in the present moment and and really appreciating this time that you have and, and seeing how it feels to kind of just be in a place where you're not just so on all the time, where you can just like really just sort of like, you know, let your body get into that, that rest and relax state, you know, because if we're in that place of just like, you know, Oh, what is that that state called? Is it? I'm, I want to say parasympathetic state, but I'm 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 not a hundred percent on that cancer. I'll have to look into that. But <clears throat> that state of where your body is just like on all the time, where your body feels like it's like not necessarily in danger, but that it just needs to be ready for something. You know, it's always constantly anticipating, as opposed to just like <sighs> okay. Okay, <laughs> nothing's on fire, everything is great, I'm safe. You know, you have to tell the body these things because the body doesn't know, even if you're relaxing, if your head is still swarming with stuff, the body's still going to hold on to that tension. And then you're going to, you know, that, that anxiety is going to build up and it just, it, it's going to make it to where our, just where our time is not as, as rejuvenating as it could be cancer. And this is to get your fire back, you know, get your, get, get some more fuel for you for when we go to tackle, you know, next week and, you know, life in general, you know, that you have that, that energy for it. Let's see, let's see what some other challenges that might come up for you, Cancer. All right. And exactly, there's that ace of star, there's your, here's your, your abundance from yesterday, that's going to be affected. If we are in a place, and nope, that's not to scare you, Cancer, it's going to be affected in the sense of that, it's just that if we're exhausted and or or if we're frantic or if we're anxious or whatever this energy you know is you know that's possibly got the got the emperor in reverse here you know that's been that's got you going then that's going to affect how you manifest because when we're in this place of like panic and and not to say that you're panic but there's that when the body feels like it, it's not fully relaxed cancer it's going to affect how you create how you manifest how you operate just all of that is going to get into how you're affecting your sleep and all of that stuff compounds cancer you know the the more that we're that we're going and going and going like that, you know, that those ways are setting in, and then it gets harder to break out of that stuff when we when we do when that stuff does catch up to you, Cancer, because Cancer pushing like that, it will catch up to you in time. And again, that's not to scare you; it's just to make you more mindful of how we're channeling our energy here, because really. Looking at just, you know, that little pocket come out here, the energy that you're working with. This is a lot. Just these three by himself. You know, that's a like it's 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 hot. It's 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 so much heat, it's crazy because it's yeah. But it is going to make it is just going to make things just a lot more challenging if we if we're just in this state, you know. I really feel like it's just time to even if we have things like let's say that like social media, you know, and you know how I feel about social media, but I say that if, if social media is even getting you into this place of, of, of stress and whatnot, cancer, you know, that's something to check out too, because even if we're relaxing, you know, if we're reading the news or something along those lines, or, you know, if it's nothing but doom and gloom and whatnot, that's still going to affect this relaxation time. You know, it's, it's, we there's so many ways to be mindful when we're relaxing that it's, 
it may it may it may actually seem exhausting but it really it's it's it really is just for your benefit cancer to make sure that you're you know built up when was the last time you took a nap you know i'm always talking about well not always but there are times when i'm just like man i, I would love to take like 10 naps and then i'll be in good shape you know cancer if you find yourself saying that let's start to let's take a nap right now you know pause this video go take a nap <laughs> let's get to your last card which is going to be some advice oh both cards okay we're keeping both cards cancer Oh, cancer. <laughs> yeah, we are keeping both cards because look at this. We got the eight of wands in reverse and we got the chariot in reverse. We're in reverse. And that's okay. You know, because I really feel like that it's that this some advice is that even the chariot has to take a break sometimes you know that's you even you got to pull over and let your horses rest you know because <laughs> in the chariot you know normally it's it, you'll see like a person you know pulling along a couple horses or i've seen sphinxes you know whatever animal of choice you know we need to sometimes it, we need to take a second and pause first you know pause for a minute because even with i'm thinking about the eight of wands popping up like this this is normally really electric kind of energy you know like really fast type of energy but even this is is i'm getting the sign of us even if okay and you know what even if some of us are just like well justin it's not feasible for me to to stop right now Okay, I'll meet you halfway. Slow down a little bit. Let's just be, if we're just like, if you've been running around like a chicken with your head cut off, let's just, let's just slow the pace down. When you find yourself like, oh my gosh, I got this, I got this, I got this. Wait, pause. Let's breathe. Breathe for a second. What's first? And that's, that's you know, because that's going to be the only way. Because if we, if, we, if we spread ourselves too thin, you know, if we're firing, if, we, if, we, if we're not just focused on one thing, but we're focused on a hundred other things that, I'm not, I think I went the opposite direction, but you got what I'm going, Cancer. If we're doing a hundred different things at once, then it's just, it's going to mess with our energy, Cancer. It's going to get it to where the chariot's in reverse, and nobody likes the chariot in reverse because that's going to affect our ace of stars, getting our abundance. It's going to affect us, you know, getting that feeling like we're getting ahead, you know. Just we want to get to that, to that wind, Cancer, you know, get to that. Oh, just get, get to that place of where just we're balanced again. And you know that just like we, that our energies are just just flowing naturally again as they should. So just something to keep in mind, Cancer, you know, I've been, I, I, I get it, but it's every, we, it's, it's important, you know, to take care of yourself and check in with yourself every now and again. Now let's get some Oracle cards here so I can get you, get you out of here and get you resting. Or you know what, hopefully this is part of your rest day. And you know what, if that's the case, we'll, we'll cool it down a little bit. It won't be so over the top today. <laughs> Because even you saw how the chair comes out. You know I usually lose it when the chair comes out. But even even then, it felt like the energy is just like, no, not today. Let's <laughs> let's keep it let's keep it fun, but let's keep it light. Let's keep it quiet. You know we don't want to get cancer too riled up. <laughs> let's see what's going on with your cancer. All right, cancer, you got the witch bottle here to start off, and I feel like with this popping up, you know I just. I, I feel like that we were in this place of where <clears throat> I think some of us may have tapped into our reserves, you know, that we've, you know, we've, we've, I, I get cancer because I do, I get where you're the, t you may be the type is just like, Justin, I, I, I hear you, but I can handle it. And <clears throat> I believe it, cancer. I totally believe you can handle it, but it's, it's going to be one of those things that over time, it's your your these these bottles these this think of this as your energy reserves here eventually that's going to run out and if we haven't taken the time to fill it up then then what you know then we're going to be looking like what happened and you know what cancer i've been doing a little little numerology you know kind of studying here as of late and i'm just looking at all these eights here you got because you got the eight of wands eight of stars and then the strength card is number eight in the in the the major arcana train and usually number eights are the types that i'm a, my my um life path number is eight in life path and the eight numbers are usually like your leaders you know they're usually the ones that are kind of like they they're usually you find them behind like 
your your big business big big businesses or humanitarian they're, they're in like the forefront they're your they're your emperors you know and i feel like again you know even seeing these eights you know how how that's coming up i just feel like maybe some of us really have just been in this energy for too long and it's okay just because you take a break that doesn't make you any less of an emperor you know that's something too because maybe that's something too you know maybe we might think of that as a sign of weakness anymore here all right, cancer. Let's switch back over, you know. But maybe some of us might be, might think of that as a sign of weakness. But that's not cancer, you know. If anything, that just shows to me an emperor who knows when to take a step back and to focus on themselves and to and to self care and to get it so that they're operating at their best state again. That to me is someone that I can work with, you know. That I that I would feel you know feel proud to stand beside because then that's someone too when they notice that I'm not operating at my best that they're going to be like, hey, where I get it, I get it. You're doing the good work, but we <clears throat> you got you got good work to do here. You know what I mean? This 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 emperor is a mindful, you know, compassionate leader. And that's where I feel like you're trying to become cancer. And that's gonna to start too, being compassionate with yourself and and pouring all of that, just you know how I feel about that, taking that nurturing cancerian energy and channeling that all here. And it's just gonna be gravy cancer. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that there, cancer. And I, every time I'm recording, I promise, when I'm recording today, you're my very first video, but it's, it's kind of rainy over here, it's a little dark, and I, but when I record, I, you know, I got, I'm working with like natural lighting here. So hopefully this, uh, we're, we're setting a different ambiance, if anything, Cancer, you know, trying to get you a little, little darker lighting so that we can get you nice and relaxed. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> All right, let's call it Cancer. Like that video if you if you if, if you liked it, Cancer. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> you know what I mean, Cancer. And then share this thing, you know, because this this is one I feel like that it's it's like I feel like it's can be like an all zodiac problem, but I can see where this can specifically be a be a Cancerian problem, you know, just wanting to just kind of push and you know, feel like that we got this thing that we have to shoulder the whole whole everything. But that's very ten of wands of you, Cancer. You don't have to shoulder all of that. You can you can set some of that stuff down and take a break. It's it's totally acceptable. And then let's subscribe, hit that bell button if you, if you haven't, and then you'll get notified when I release videos each day. Social media and I, we're getting there. I'm just, I'm just not going to talk about it right now. Maybe, maybe if I don't talk about it, it'll just go away. No, no, and that's not how we deal with problems, Cancer. I'm, I'm, we're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. And then lastly, I'm assuming you're here because you've checked your sun, but if not, check your sun, your moon, your rising, and then uh, just check your chart, Cancer. You know what? While you're doing that this weekend, what, do some nice light reading? Just look over your chart. It'll be lovely. <laughs> but check out my other channel, Alchemist 8. I do weekly videos there with different, like in there with different monthly themes. It's a good old time and all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise cards so that I can get you out of here, Cancer. Nice. You got the Ten of Swords in reverse. That's a powerful start. I, I, I like, or really powerful. And we're not getting into another reading, Cancer. <laughs> and then, and then you got the hands in reverse. And you know what? Let's start with these hands because I feel like that's you, Cancer. You've been having hands all over the place. You know, I feel like you've been, maybe you've been trying to just juggle a whole bunch of things and I feel like it's time to just put, put some stuff down, put the workload down and really take this time to recover. You know, because the Ten of Swords for me, when, especially when it's popping up in reverse here, that this is, a, this is showing me that, you know, the time of being in this energy of, you know, maybe feeling exhausted of not having enough energy, you know, whatever that is, is coming to an end, you know, we're going to get ready to switch stuff up here, you know, and two, another thing, cancer, you know, something to think about, you know, let's, you know, making sure that we're getting just and make it, how's your sleep looking, you know, are we getting enough like rest in the, in the evenings, you know, and if we, let's say if we, if, 
if your schedule may be a little wonky, you know, maybe we work like third shift because believe me, I back, I I did third shift for a spell and that's that's a whole thing with sleep. That's that's a different game. But even even in stuff like that, you know, find making sure we find little pockets of time. If we can't get like, you know, like a you know, mad concentrations, you know, even just making sure we're just, we're resting up in between cancer, you know, making sure we're building up our reserves. So I think I'm gonna leave that there. Look at that. I'm gonna even get you out here at a reasonable time here, cancer. So stay safe out there, rest up. And you know what? I was gonna say keep eyes on the moon, but you know what? Put on a put on a face mask today. The moon's not gonna be offended. You know, she even the moon goes void of course sometimes. Cancer, she's she's not ashamed to take a nap, so you do the same. And I will catch you. Oh, you know what? And enjoy your weekend, Cancer. And I will catch you on the next one Monday. <laughs>